Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pierre, but of course you guys can call me TT as well. Um, so today I am going to be doing a hygiene video. Um, it's 2021. There are so many different things on the market nowadays and it's so hard to just pick what's good for your area, you know, for her. You know, um, there's a lot of things out there that have a lot of scents and... I don't know about y'all, but my baby is very sensitive. You know, you have to feed her what she likes. So if you would like to see um, some of the must-have items I think every girl should have, every woman should use, please keep on watching. Hey guys, what is up? Happy New Year. So I'm going to get into my top eight um, hygiene products that I use on a daily basis um, just to keep my body clean, my kitty clean and free of any infections, BV, yeast infections, all of that. Um, I take that very, very serious because it's the most uncomfortable thing in the world. If you know, you know. So my first product is like my end all be all, but I am talking about the Dr. Bronner's um, 18 in 1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castor Oil Soap. So this soap is made with organic oils. Um, the peppermint scent is very, very potent. So if you don't like peppermint, you might want to stay away from this. But they do have other scents. And I put scents in quotations because this is like a, um, a very organic soap. So you can literally use this for anything in your house, on your body anything um but you do want to go ahead and add some water to it um to dilute it because it is a very very strong product um i when i'm doing my in-depth like facial routines and things like that i use this soap um when i'm doing like a um in-depth like wash routine i use this soap as like my first layer of cleansing and um, you'll basically have like a tingling sensation after you wash up with this. like, And it makes you feel really, really clean. And I think it's mainly because of the peppermint, but also because this soap is very, very potent. They tell you on the label to dilute it with some water. So make sure you do that when you do use it. But um, I go to the gym a lot now. So um, I use this on my face after the gym just to make sure that I'm getting all of that sweat and all of that gunk off of my face um because i do break out in the same areas every time um if i do not clean my face correctly so this always gets the job done the next product is witch hazel um i personally use the thayer's witch hazel there are so many different types of witch hazel that you can get this is the rose petal one so it kind of smells like rose petal um i'm not sure how the regular witch hazel smells but i know it's not like a dominant smell and i like this one just because i'm a woman rose petal sounds cute so yeah i get this from target and um after the shower i actually put this on my bum <laughs> um yeah so that area needs to be cleaned like you know what comes out of it and we're always sitting on it, maybe sweaty, things like that. So after I get out of the shower, I always use some type of witch hazel just to like, you can get like a um, cotton pad and just wipe it there. And just in that area, that's the only area. I might put it on my face as well um, after I use a makeup wipe um, just to get that oil, the excess oil off of my face. But other than that, those are like the only two areas that I use this, but this smells so good. This smells so good. So if you haven't already tried this Witch Hazel, it is a facial toner as well. If that's if you're looking for a new product for a facial toner, um, which can also lighten up those areas down there. The more you know. <laughs> so the next product that I want to get into is my Honey Pot Sensitive Foam Washing. The Honey Pot Sensitive Foam Washing um, is a foam wash of course 
Um, it's a plant-based feminine care product. It just helps with um, balancing your pH um, and making sure it stays balanced throughout the sweat, throughout the tight clothes, throughout all of that type of stuff. So I do not use this all the time. I think this is a very, very, very mild product, meaning that um, it's kind of strong. So I don't use it every single day, but when I feel like I just went too hard in the gym or I just had on my um, workout clothes for a while after I sweat, um, I do go ahead and use this just to make sure that that sweat and everything else is clean from the rooted to the tooted, okay? But this is a very mild product, so be careful because um, I feel like when products are strong, they can kind of like throw off your pH balance. <laughs> Even if it is a product that's supposed to help you with that, I think that if it's used every single day um, and you have a little bit of sensitivity down there, I think that this can kind of throw it off. So make sure you are using this sparingly when you need it and not every single day. That's just me though. It, it might work for you every day. So next, we are going with another honey pot item. These are the organic honey pot panty liners. And I love these for many, many reasons. These are non-herbal panty liners, um, and they come in a 30 count. They look small like this. Now, panty liners, I do not use every single day, um, which you shouldn't be using them every single day. Um, but they are very, very comfortable. Um, I never have any issues with like feeling them or them moving or any, anything like that. Um, but I think this helps manage anything that's just uncomfortable, you know, like, uh, you know, a couple days after your cycle or anything like that. You want to put these on and just make sure that there is no mistakes or there is no incidents in your, in your good underwear, you know? So next, <laughs> as you guys can see, this is probably one of my favorite products um not this specific brand not this specific um uh scent at all i just love body scrubs especially after i shave or when i'm doing my full uh hygiene routine and i want to feel soft and smooth and everything like that i'm using this but i, I basically use this every day especially um after waxing, you want to always exfoliate. So I definitely use this to exfoliate. I usually have a glove, but I haven't had a glove in a while. But you can still use this without the glove, of course. Um, but the glove is the added um, exfoliant. So you get like the exfoliating glove and then you use this as well. Chef's kiss, I'm telling you. So this is the Green Tea Tree Hut Shea Scrub. Shea, Shea Sugar Scrub. And they literally have so many different scents. I usually get mine from Target. Um, I've had about three different scents. I think there's a blue one that I want to try. I'm not even sure what the scent is, but I just like the fact that it's blue and it just looks very pretty. Um, but like I said, I, I really use these every single day. And if you do get waxes, you're supposed to exfoliate. So these do come in handy. So I just want to talk about teeth for a second. Um, I've always wanted to whiten my teeth, like always. I don't know why my entire life I've always wanted to whiten my teeth and um I know that like going to the dentist and like getting your teeth whitened isn't the most healthiest thing um whitening your teeth in general isn't the healthiest thing for your teeth um but I wanted to try something that's a little more natural um and I have this activated charcoal teeth whitening powder that I actually got from um Amazon. I got this from Amazon. And I also have, uh, it's either Crest or Colgate. I also have the um, charcoal um, toothpaste infused as well. So I do not use this every single day. I actually asked my dentist if this is something I should use every single day. She said no, probably just use it once a week if that. Um, but I have seen a huge difference in my smile. Um, and this is way less expensive than going to the dentist. And I think, I don't even know how much it is, but I just know it's expensive to go and get your teeth whitened. And you can just literally work for it at home. Um, but I love this. It's literally a powder. It can get really, really messy. So what I do is wet my toothbrush and I just dip it in here a little bit. I go in with this first. 
I brush my teeth with this first and then I go in with my toothpaste afterwards and then brush my teeth with that. But I'll have all the links down to these things below, um, especially from Amazon because I do have an Amazon store. So you guys should shop my Amazon store. So, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've been talking about Dove. I've been using Dove. I don't even know how long, but I know for sure in college is when I really started to only buy Dove products, like as far as like soaps and cleansers and stuff like that. Um, but I've been hooked. They have amazing scents from the deodorant to the body wash to the lotion. Like they have amazing scents in almost everything. Um, so I have been looking for and trying natural de deodorant um well aluminum free deodorant and i've tried a couple in the summertime and honey it wasn't the best time to do that um because it definitely gives you a smell um because your body kind of has to detox from those deodorants that always had aluminum in them um, I'm not sure if aluminum free deodorants were a thing back in the past, but I just know that I'm just now getting into it. And I see that a lot of more um, businesses and companies are providing that for people. So I have the Dove 0% aluminum deodorant, and this is in the pomegranate and lemon for scent. When I tell you this smells so good, like so, so good. Um, and this is my second time purchasing this. Um, I don't know what scent I got in the other one, but I know it's like green on there. But this one is probably going to be my go-to. Like I said, this is a 0% aluminum um, deodorant. It's not like your typical deodorant with like the chalky, chalky texture. This one has more like a waxy type of feel. Um, and it is a 48-hour um, odor protection uh but i know that i've tried other natural deodorants and it just did not go well so this one this is the go-to if you're looking for a new deodorant with aluminum with zero percent aluminum in there this is it thank me later because and get the pomegranate and lemon scent please because this one this one is it i promise you my last so my last and final product of course is another dove product um and it is my deep moisture um body wash i've been using this for years um and i haven't stopped um i think i've traded between like different fragrances um but once i started to understand my body and kind of see what it wanted i know that i get the scent free one um and this is for deep moisture skin natural nourishes instantly soft skin um lasting nourishment and like i said it does not have a scent now dove does have plenty of scents um but my body does not respond well to scented things um in that area so i do not put any scented things down there um but this right here is my go-to like you, as you can see i get the big bottle every single time um but yeah if you are looking for something that is very subtle use a body wash <laughs> that has no scent um because scented things can throw off your ph um and all the extra additives that it has in there artificial flavoring artificial scents all that type of stuff can throw up your ph and this right here i've had no complaints um this is my go-to i said that this was my end all be all product i did say that but this right here i've never gone astray since i started her using her but yeah those are my top eight hygiene products that i use on a daily basis um if you have any questions or concerns about any of the products that I mentioned in the video, please feel free to comment down below. Um, and if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you should go ahead and do that because I definitely talk about most of these products on my Instagram. Instagram gets all the tea before YouTube gets it. And as you guys can see, I had not been that consistent on Instagram. I mean, on YouTube, but on Instagram, I was there, honey. And if you weren't, you missed out. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Um, and and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll have more videos coming. I promise you. I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm going to just do it. Um, but if you subscribe, you'll see what I have in store for you guys. If you guys continue 
to watch. But yeah, if you got this far, go ahead and say hi in the comments. And please remember that behind every open and closed door, there's always a new opportunity. So keep grinding, sis, and you'll get to where you need to be. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.